What is going on, you guys? I know this is extremely late, but I'm going to do a three or triple review of Vital Wars episode three or four, five, and today's episode, episode six. So let's get right up and do it. So we're here on this uh, exile area, I presume. I don't know where this is. I guess it's uh, Kaon, where we see the Constructicons, and they are fighting somebody, and they, they are getting their butts whooped. Long Haul gets his butt thrown, Scrapper's getting beat, all the Constructicons are getting beat by, uh, Megatron. He even tr Long Haul tries even stabbing Megatron, and that don't work for him. He's like, really? Really? Megatron is just slaying them. And then Megatron goes to yelling, is there anyone else that can challenge me? And lo and behold, his arch rival shows up, Optimus Prime. So Megatron sees Optimus and asks him if he's come to finish what he started to fight the last battle. Optimus is not here to fight. Megatron then proceeds to say, oh, you know you want to fight. Don't lie. As Wimblet is watching from above, she's asking, we came all the way out here for him. Why is he, the, or the great ex leader of the Decepticons, why is he out here on a dead world? And being the total a-hole Megatron as he uh, compliments on her uh, killing work. Wimblade then tells, calls him an old relic. You don't know who you're dealing with. Megatron then goes to say he meant keep up the killing, not the talking. Then him and Optimus just start beating the crap out of one of another. Megatron gets some really good hits up on Optimus. It's a brutal, brutal fight. Megatron then proceeds to talk about how they're destined to fight all, as always. And then Optimus tells Megatron they need your help, or they need his help with Cybertron. Optimus tells them that the peace treaty has fallen apart. Megatron goes on to say that the, the peace treaty was a false hope to begin with. And he also said Cybertron can burn. Prime goes on to say that they need his help. Cybertron still lives. Caminus still lives, but not for long. Optimus then says that he left the war part of him behind. Megatron calls that BS. And then we actually get some uh, shots from the pl the prelude of Optimus Prime and uh, Megatron. Which, that's actually pretty cool that they're using the preludes in the episode. Really nice. Wimblade gets ready to fight Megatron after Megatron knocks out Optimus. But lo and behold, Optimus jumps right out of the ground and gives Megatron a really big kick. Then the two still ramble on about the war. Megatron actually finally found some peace being in exile, which is shocking. Then he proceeds to ask Optimus, where's his peace, where's his freedom? Windblade jumps in and asks, or says, we need your help. And then Megatron asks, are you asking me? Because if you are, that is a flat and utter no. Wimblade is starting to get irritated, and Optimus tells Megatron that Starscream has the enigma. And then Wimblade gives him a good old punch in the face. Buggerhead got knocked by a girl. And then the Constructicons hear everything, and they're signaling one of another to go to the Council Tower to go get the Enigma. Longhaul sends the signal to Scrapper, and then sends it to, um, Hook, I think. Or, I don't know which other Constructicon. Megatron then says the one thing he hates more than Optimus Prime is Starscream. So, of course, Megatron teams up with them, and they are going to be on their way over to the Council Building. As they're walking out of the Coliseum, uh, Megatron then proceeds to ask or mock Optimus when he used to say transform and roll out. And it was actually, that this part is really funny because Wimblade la laughs at him and then Optimus looks back and he's like, shut up or I'm going to smack you. She's like, well, I didn't do, I didn't laugh at nothing. As they're doing this now, uh, they're transform, they transform and they start heading off towards the council building. And this is a really nice moment, because you actually see them all transform at once. Megatron is the tank and not a gun, which is good. And that is the end of Combina Wars Episode 4, so now we will start the review, or my thoughts on Episode 5. So the episode starts with Computron laying on the ground from the remains of the first episode. Starscream claims that this is his fault, he's the one that sent Computron after uh, Menasaur to bring him in. Starscream said he should have been the one to bring him in. Rodimus tells him, no, he did the right thing. The mistress goes on to say that the combiners are going to unravel everything, meaning they'll destroy everything. Then we see Optimus Prime, Windblade, and Megatron trying to break into the council tower. 
Wind Blades running down a hallway or against some walls, I don't know. Uh, Megatron is basically saying, let's go kill everybody. Kill the Council, take the Enigma, he doesn't care as long as he kills uh, Starscream. Windblade agrees that it'll be easy with the three of them doing it. Optimus, on the other hand, does not agree. He says, no, we are here to reason with them. We are not here to kill them. And then Megatron is basically sarcastically saying, this is not going to end well. Megatron then proceeds to keep saying, fine, but I'm killing Starscream. Optimus is like, no, you're not. We are not killing. Mistress and Starscream don't believe that Megatron and Optimus are working together. Rodimus doesn't see it as that way. Two of the council members think Optimus and Megatron are going to kill them. Rodimus does not think they're going to kill him. The council is... They're talking about activating the Enigma again to stop Optimus, Megatron, and Windblade from attacking. The council proceeds to ask the three why they are here. Optimus tells them, we are not here to fight, we want to see the Enigma destroyed, and then we will happily leave. The mistress proceeds to say she doesn't believe them, we are here to protect the peace, and then Windblade jumps and is like, ha, you protect the peace, you're here and we're still in Kaminus, and the cities are in ruins. The mistress tells Windblade to know her place, city speaker. Megatron then goes to proceed to tell Starscream, give it up, we know what you're up to. Starscream proceeds to say that he's not up to anything, he's trying to atone for his sins. Then Megatron tells Starscream he is too stupid to have that kind of power, he'll destroy us all. Starscream goes then to tell him, you just want it for yourself. Then Megatron says, I'll show you what I want. He jumps up in the air with his fusion cannon, and he blasts uh, Starscream. Rodimus proceeds to say, we can't win this battle, so the three head in sight, and then Optimus and Windblade are going to start taking out all of the guns. Rodimus is telling Starscream no one has to die, and all of a sudden, the floor of the council tower starts shaking and rumbling. Rodimus falls into the hole, and out comes a uh, Devastator. And this is the part of the scene which I didn't see coming. Devastator comes up out of the ground, he takes Rodimus, and he rips his arm off. Rodimus is screaming in pain, and that was the end of episode 5. So now we start on episode 6. The Devastator is still maniacally laughing. They show Hot Rod, or Rodimus' arm being torn off yet again. Optimus assumes that Megatron was behind this thing the entire time. Megatron said if he was, you guys would have been dead already. Devastator tells them to give them the Enigma. Optimus tells Megatron, get your con in check. And then Meg Megatron is demanding that Devastator stops, and Devastator is in complete, utter retaliation. Megatron is no longer in charge. Devastator does not listen to Megatron. Devastator basically says, you are no longer in charge. Megatron then says, I am your master. You will listen. Devastator is no. No more masters. Devastator will do as Devastator pleases. Optimus, Megatron, and Windblade start attacking Devastator from the left, the right, and the above. It's not going well for any one of them. Devastator goes on to say Autobots, Decepticons, small and weak, and then they just keep attacking him. All of a sudden, Victorion shows up, because uh, the, thing, the Combiners knew about the Enigma. Victorion then asks, where is the Enigma? Devastator comes out right behind her saying, the Enigma is mine. Victorion says... Uh, the future of our race is in his hands? I think not. Then Devastator and Victorion get start fighting, and uh, it gets a little havoc. Optimus, Megatron, and Wimblade agree if they don't stop, they're going to destroy the city. The Mistress goes on to say that the Combiner Wars has started, and they don't know how to stop it. They are going to use the Enigma of Combination. They activate it. But the only one who can use it is Starscream, and uh, that's where problems start happening. The Mistress can't use it because she is Kaminin, and their biology don't work. Rodimus, I don't know why he can't use it. Starscream is using it, and like I said, it gets really hectic. Starscream wanted it all along to activate the Enigma. It finally... It finally hit Megatron that Starscream was going to use. All of a sudden, the dead combiners of Computron and Menasaur start glowing, and they start moving. Windblade is confused. How is he using those two when they're dead? And then uh, Victorion and Devastator are going to come in and attack Starscream, and he kills the both of them, and he takes them.
Megatron tells Starscream he should have killed him while he had the chance, but Starscream says, but you didn't. Megatron then asks Starscream how long he's been planning this. Starscream tells him he's been planning this for a very long time. But Starscream didn't know how satisfying the power was, so, uh, I don't know. Megatron then says stars will bloom and die before, uh, he's done killing Starscream. Starscream then says Megatron will never change, but he has evolved. Wimblade then says they need to get out of there, so they fly out and the whole the whole tower like explodes in this pink and blue light. Wimblade accuses Megatron of being a part of this the whole time when Megatron says, I don't think we mattered at all. Megatron then says he only needed her to be a killer, so that all the combiners could converge there at the The Transformers are in for a big one now because Starscream is now the ultimate combiner. But overall, I actually really do like these four, three episodes of Combiner Wars. I know I'm really behind because the internet was off the last two episodes. So I figured, why not with episode six? Episode six coming, I figured I'd do a triple review. So, uh, these, been, these have been a pretty few, a uh, couple of interesting episodes. But overall, I really do like them. Um, I'm going to try and leave a link in the description to Vimeo. So you can watch all six episodes of Combiner Wars if you have not watched it yet. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching this video review, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Later. Keep on geeking.